Hey folks, well, welcome to Coffee with Job and this time I'm up at my work, up at the ENC office near Moore College. And uh, just to remind me of my roots, I'm drinking my coffee from my Scotland cup. So, we're going to look at Job chapter 16 verses 18 to 21. I'm going to do that today and tomorrow uh, because... In the midst of all this almost unrelenting despair comes this just incredible hope. So let me read from verse 18. Earth, do not cover my blood. May my cry never be laid to rest. Even now my witness is in heaven. My advocate is on high. My intercessor is my friend as, I, as my eyes pour out tears to God. On behalf of a man he pleads with God as one pleads for a friend. Now, this is going back to chapter 9 and verse 32. If only there were someone to mediate, verse 33, if only there were someone to mediate between us, someone to bring us together, if only there was someone. And it's this idea of a mediator, mediator and of a friend. Well, what a friend we have in Jesus. Isn't that the, the case? Um, I'll maybe, I've, I've used it before, but I'll maybe put it on at the end of this one again so that you can benefit from the country and western version by St. Peter's of that marvellous hymn. But you see what he's doing here? He's going, oh earth, cover my blood. In other words, I'm being murdered. It's like in Genesis 4.10, Abel's blood cries out to God from the ground. Or in Isaiah 26, 21, the earth will disclose the blood shed on it and will no more cover its slain. Or in Revelation 6, 10, where the Christian martyrs cry out to God for their blood to be avenged. And he's saying, there's a witness, a witness, that the, the witness on high, the witness in heaven. The Isaiah 26, 21 verse I mentioned earlier talks about the Lord coming. Now what Job is doing here is really interesting because he's appealing to God against God. So he's saying, I need someone who's the equal of my judge. That can only be God. I need someone to enter the heavenly court and to appeal for me. I need an intercessor. Well, Christ Jesus intercedes for us. Job doesn't know this, but he's looking forward to Christ the one who intercedes. And by the way, also the Holy Spirit. Romans 8 tells us that the creation is crying out and we cry out because of our suffering. But the Spirit intercedes for us. I, you know, when you say to someone, I'm praying for you, does that, does that comfort them? Well, I think it does. It comforts me. It was marvelous to me when I was so ill 10 years ago to know that people all over the world were praying for me. But how much greater is it to know that Jesus is praying for you, that the Holy Spirit is interceding for you? Jesus says, I prayed for you. I prayed for you that your faith will not fail. It's just beautiful. And in verse 19, where he says, my witness is in heaven, my advocate is on high. This is the God who hears the cry of shed blood. We have someone to appeal on our behalf. We have someone to intercede for us. We have, if you like, the supreme lawyer in heaven. I often speak to lawyers. In fact, I'm going to do so uh, today. In fact, thir this Thursday. So I speak a lot to lawyers. Um, how great to have your own advocate in Jesus Christ. 1 John 2 1, if anyone does sin, we have one who speaks to the Father in our defense, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. I pause because, I was going to say, not because I'm lost for words to say, but in a way I am. It absolutely bowls me over, it's almost unbelievable that I don't just have a friend in Jesus, but an advocate, the one who appeals for me. 
And so I, I can rejoice. If only there was someone, he says. My intercessor is my friend. Here's my friend Jesus, and he appears to God for me. If you are a Christian, you can say that. If you're not a Christian, Christ can become your friend. All right, let's find out more about that tomorrow. See you on Friday. Bye.